Hi, welcome to Durham West Art Center. We're having the grand opening today of Tina Horn's art show, Two Worlds, One Sky. Tina is a wonderful young artist here in our community, but she's also from New Zealand, and she brings that wonderful sensibility of the Canadian landscape as well as the New Zealand landscape to her work. Uh, very creative and um, dynamic painter with texture, bright, vibrant colors, creative, strong, compositional devices. And Hi, uh, my name is Tina Horn. I'm a landscape abstract painter. I've been painting since I was probably five years old and throughout my school years and now I have been influenced by my mum who does photography and my dad who's an architectural draftsman so it's kind of in the family and I uh, usually only paint with acrylics. Um, I have tried oils but acrylics seem to work the best for me. Since I've been here, I've spent three months solidly painting. I've produced about 12 works, which are on display at the Greenwood Public Library. I am planning on continuing to paint throughout the, the year. I return to New Zealand in December and I'm going to continue painting as a kind of full-time, part-time career venture and see how it goes in New Zealand, maybe even take the show Two Worlds, One Sky home and reciprocate it there. Um, probably will uh, experiment with some other techniques when I get back, try some new things, seeing that I've uh, brought to life what I was doing before, so um, yeah, we're just kind of seeing how it goes really. Thanks to our supportive partners, the City of Pickering, we have our location out here at Greenwood Public Library. We've got a third of the library. It's our temporary headquarters as we uh, move and roll out to build our larger facility. Um, we have lots of programs going out here. We have writers and residents come out here and write. We have art shows, art venues. Uh, we're doing some music, some uh, small theater. Uh, we're, we're, this is basically our offices, but we're using the multi-purpose space here uh, to help build the arts and foster arts in our community. The other thing is that we have a wonderful website, www.dwac.ca, where all of our events are listed, our memberships are there, our partners, all the artists that we entertain um, as on our large main event that we have each fall and spring is the Spring Studio Tour here. We have the highest uh, caliber of artists here in Durham Region and we've put a studio tour together and you can go see their site and it also takes you to their websites and you can see their artwork and um, what they're um, accomplishing. Also on our website is our vision and mission statement of what we're trying to accomplish here and if you're at all interested and want to contact us, our contact information is there. We also have a link to our foundation site where our foundation is uh, actively uh, building and looking at uh, locations uh, for the new art center and we've just put a RFP together and we've got a consulting group going out and consulting with uh, the art groups and the members in the community uh, theater, music, dance, visual artists are all being consulted in what we need in our, our community and our area and that's taking place and that link is on our, our dwac.ca website as well. So we'd love to have you come by, love to look, have you look at our website and see all our events. Our events are listed on our homepage and they're changing frequently and so we look forward to having you come by, drop us a line or come for a visit.